Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? I'm here again with Zen. Hey. And so, we're tracing Krillin and also talking about JoJo parts. I was about to fall to my death, and I swear to God, if I die, I am... Uh, I am... <laughs> I was going to be fucking done. I am not in the mood for your shit right now, Dragon Ball. You! Oh, okay. It fell to his Oh death. my god, I thought for sure you were going in that. Is this game really going to make me go back the way I came from? So I have to do all that platforming shit again? Oh. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to die and I'm going to have to start over again. This is a Sisyphean nightmare. I never am going <laughs> to... Uh, but yeah, the uh, the way um, the way I see it is like if it's if it was part one, if he like took some of the lessons learned from like every other part from there, because part one is very weird in that it's very quickly done story. Like you don't have enough time with Zapelli or Jonathan, and I feel like they had a real good master. I feel like they could have had a very well built up like relationship, and you don't get enough time to actually um kind of get it done you know what i mean so the relationship between uh gyro and uh, johnny is kind of like why i go like okay these their counterparts are basically the jojo part one guys but with again a different actually that is not true is it not i could have swore counterpart is not will zeppeli really it is a zeppeli though it is a zeppeli but it is not william zeppeli hmm interesting and again a lot of this is gonna be a lot of this is gonna be lost especially for people who did not uh read part six in particular <laughs> for a lot yeah. of this uh but anyway gyro is the counterpart to caesar's epily oh okay that makes okay i see that i that, can see that, that actually is partially i think much is that johnny and gyro feel like they fix both the issues between Johnny or Will and Jonathan but also losing Caesar you get you get to see what what would have been like had Jonathan and or had uh, Joseph and Caesar had that time together yeah that they didn't get I think uh, again part seven for like what is basically the start of this new idea that he's having I think is fantastic for that and it's a really good just like it's it's really weird. Whatever when he's when he does what he's doing in part seven, it was oh my god! I thought I was about to fall to my death. <laughs> it was a, it was a risk, and it's a risk that you don't see a lot of like other manga dudes try and do, which I think is fun. Yeah, well, I mean, he made the jump from shonen all the way to to the seinen magazine. Yeah, I Threw mean, away his target audience. <laughs> It's funny because I think over the years he's definitely like changed his style. You can especially sure, tell yeah. in the art. And I feel he's always been like in the forefront of like when he realized that skinny uh big buff dudes were no longer be going to be the thing, he switched over to um the current style we have which is like very um <laughs> very uh model like boys, I'll say. Yeah, very very by shonen. <laughs> yes, yeah. very. Which took a while for me to get used to, because if anyone knows me too much, is that I don't really like that kind of character. Specifically in manga and anime. It, usually because they think they're the most insufferable characters whenever they're there. So they make all your dudes <laughs> basically that. <laughs> it's an interesting choice. Yeah, it uh, it works for him, though. I, I think that the most jarring is when he goes back and he redraws old characters in the new designs. I think that's when people get really like, ugh. Yeah, I think it, that's you know that's what happens when you do a full on style change. I'm gonna come out, Krillin. Oh, really? You're gonna fucking fight not, me like this, Krillin? I'm not even gonna go like. Full I, I don't way. remember Goku beating the shit out of Krillin to take the rock back in Dragon Ball. I mean, this is a completely new route. This is basically uh, Dragon Ball Part Seven right now. This is all <laughs> Steel Rock Run. Exactly. This Goku has three testicles. Why only three? Uh, that's how much... Um. <laughs> oh, have you not read that much into Part 8? He has four in Part 8. He has four? I thought he had three. Oh, he has four. All right. 
Well, here's Roshi. That's why I don't understand why it was three. Which which person only had the one testicle? My bad. I think I'm thinking of like a character from Borderlands who has three balls. <laughs> uh, okay, so I have to beat up a bunch of rocks, I think, for Roshi. Really? Okay. I can't. Really, you, you have to kill ten rocks, apparently. Oh, uh, I can do this. I just beat up Krillin, so. This is like the Street Fighter minigame, but like taken to an extremely dumb. Worse. A lot worse, yeah. Yeah, this is a. Again, not what you expect from Dragon Ball. This game plays it fast and loose with what you know of Dragon Ball. I also don't have a health bar, so I don't know if I'm taking damage from these rocks. That is the four how many you have left to kill, or yes. is that how much time you have left? No, it's how m I have to kill ten rocks. Oh, okay. You know, because Goku got strong by punching rocks. Why is Roshi making me punch rocks? I've literally punched men to death. I brought, I put a damn rabbit on the moon, which did not happen yeah. in this game, but still. Yeah, yeah they kind of glossed right over that entire part, which sucks, because that's one of my favorite parts. It's a great part. It's uh, the one part where I go, like, I guess Goku can breathe in space. <laughs> mm-hmm. Good the Bulma grief. design for that part is excellent. The The villain's power is like the dumbest, greatest thing ever. It is basically uh, the best parts of um, <laughs> Jojo into one character. <laughs> Whenever he touches you, it turns into a carrot. What? It's hard to hate a uh, monster carrot. Yeah, it's very, especially it when... sound like, like an esoterically useless stand ability. Is this man trying to tell me how to fight? Is he... Yeah, the game waits uh, to teach you the tutorial until right fucking now. Okay, this is insane. This game just turned into a fighting game. <laughs> I... I did... I did... What? <laughs> what is this game? Guard. Very good is what it is. You can guard against your opponent's attacks. When Krillin attacks, push. Wait, really? There's literally a a fighting game mode and an adventure game mode. This is insane. It is it, it is a straight up fighting game. What? What? Who? <laughs> I feel like this is answering all the questions of someone going like, so people like fighting games because there's a world tournament with Dragon Ball, but also the adventure part is very important. What if we have both? Yeah. What if we just do both? And the reason you don't do both is because, well, what happens is that you end up being just kind of okay at both. You don't do both because then you suck at both things. Exactly. So I didn't read what Roshi wanted me to do, but I think he wanted me to break. Yeah, so... I assume he just wants you to kill Krillin. I'm doing pretty good at that. Beating the shit out of Krillin. Launching attacks. I, uh, I'm literally having, like, a fighting game tutorial and it's freaking me out <laughs> if you hit it's your... uh it's way too long by the way we yeah. should not have waited till like half the game to get a tutorial on entirely new gameplay mode yeah this is insane i get okay so i think i have to learn how to pop them up of course it's not going to show me like oh this is how you do a pop-up so oh what the yeah. fuck it's a marvel fist Cap go jesus christ is this actually dead, just like what the hell? That's insane. That I have not seen jumps like that since Marvel vs. Capcom. <laughs> okay. So can I do Hadoukens then? Saving, do not turn off the power. This what is this video game? Because again, I this... you can do the Hadouken, wouldn't it just be the uh huh? Well let's find out, because we're about to go into the world tournament arena. Alas, we have arrived at the world tournament. I wonder if this is where it ends. Hey, you guys. Oh, Two damn. Other marks over there. It's true. I like. Oh, I guess you have to do Red Ribbon Army, right? Oh, wait. I think you can be. I'm trying to think if you can be a Rayleigh in this game or not. Now then, it's almost time for the matches to start. Goku versus Girin. Announcer. Dragon Boy. I think so. Oh no, yeah, it's Dragon Guy. It's the bum bubblegum guy. The guy yeah, who the gets the guy who spits up the bubblegum. I sure slept well. Get Goku oh, fucking slow sliding into frame. 
sliding into Giram's DMs. That's how he's doing it all nice and slow. Oh, man. I Maybe. J- just woke I'm up from my to, nap. Ready to fight? So you doing anything after this fight, Kieran? <laughs> you feeling <laughs> up? I'm just going to drop my number. You can find me at Turtle House. Look at Giran's fucking, like, happy face. <laughs> yeah, all right. I can literally Giren's sweep. Look, I can sweep the leg. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, perfect. The ultimate technique. Okay, so let me see. I'm going to show you see if I can jump him into the air. All right, I can. Okay, I'm going to see if I can do... Oh, what? Don't you... I can't use my power pole because that's against the rules. So you have to fight fairly. Oh, nice. Nice super jump. Just beat the shit out of him. Thank Perfect. You. Take the Kamehameha to the face. There we go. I can't do Hadoukens, but I can do Kamehamehas. Giren, I will see you after the fight. I can see you're already kind of ready for Goku right there in that pose. <laughs> Already feeling it a little bit after that ass beating. Exactly. I forget, is it Giren where, um, oh, Nom, you've seen better days. Did they white up Nom for this game, by the way? He sure did. He is, a, he looks like an old Britishman. Goku, good luck. Right. All right. I'm not into dudes, so I'm only into dragons and I'm women. I'm into genderless dragons. Yes. That's what I'm, that's my, that is my fetish. I have to that's literally. What I'm about. Oh, man. I love that this fighting game is extremely easy. <laughs> Take the Kamehameha out to the face, Nom. There's, like, sweeps and shit. I don't understand a lot of this game. <laughs> it's so weird. Get up. There we go. Wow, this is... I wish I was as good at, like, Fighter Z as I was in this. Because <laughs> I seem to be... Let me tell you, this is fucking fun. I, you sure are strong, says the guy who did not touch me once. I'm so excited to be fights a such a strong old man. Now that's a good Jackie Chun. So am I supposed it's to quality lose? Chun. Yeah, it's quality Chun. Do I lose in this? I think that you're going to have to win. And then I lost. Hmm. Oh, wow. Jackie Chun has, oh, like, he has a fucking life, though. Yeah. Oh, uh, get up. Yeah, use your own damn technique against you. You didn't expect me to be not a toddler when playing this game, did you, Jackie Chun? <laughs> I've I've played uh, Marvel vs. Capcom on the computer growing up, so I know exactly how to play these kind of games on a uh, shitty uh, no controller. Uh, what? Oh, he's going to beat the <laughs> shit out of me. All right, let me back up. Oh, God. Uh, wow, his Kamehameha is way better. Oh, is he just going to stand there and do that to me over and over again? Dick. Yeah, I got damn you, Chun. Get over here. Now, see, I would like to see this at the main stage at Evo. <laughs> Dragon Ball Adventures for the Game uh, Game Boy Advance, I think, would be really good. It's what people need after, like... Oh, come on. Come on, I got him this time. Oh, no, he's got me. I got it back up. No, I had him. Damn it! See, there we go. I think he's almost dead. Oh, what? He teleported behind me? What is this shit? Oh, he's beating me. He's beating my ass down. Zen, this is all bad. This is all bad. I've underestimated this old man's ability oh, to kick my ass. Great. It, it looks problematic. I mean, yes. Oh, okay, I think I finally got him. I just need to pop him up. There we go. And we've remade history. Jackie Chun loses to Kid Goku. Alternate universe uh, <laughs> Dragon Ball rules. I did it, I did it, I won. Finally, Groku was crowned the victory oh of the world it's, tournament? It's canon. Wow. What? You're leaving so soon? You're not even going to bring up the fact that Roshi was totally Jackie Chun, right? I can train him too. I'm, it's perfect. Okay, I'm off. Flying Nimbus. I gotta go to Giren's place. I gotta go up to Giren. You smash me some <laughs> of them dragon guts. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I got... Oh. You can now select. Oh, okay. So I can be Jackie Chun in the um, the one-on-one fighting game if I want to be Jackie Chun. Yeah, and I think we unlocked this is Penguin. Oh, this is Muscle Tower. So that's um, that's what's his nuts. That's um, Tao, right? No, I don't think Tao is Muscle. Isn't Tao after Muscle Tower? I could have swore that Tao you uh, Goku loses the Tao and then he has to climb Muscle Tower. 
Oh, Muscle Tower is a red ribbon base. You're talking. You're, he climbs Corin Tower. Oh, okay, my bad. So Muscle Tower is after that, then, right? No, Muscle Tower is in the Penguin Village. Is it Muscle Tower with Android Eight? Yes, that's where I'm. It's not called Penguin Village. I'm thinking of Aurelius Place. Yeah, Aurelius Place is Penguin Village. Yeah, I think Muscle Tower is when he befriends Aider. Yeah, there you go. Well, we'll do that on next time on the Great Dragon Ball Adventure as we continue to apparently play this game that i i'm not 100 percent sure what kind of game it is this game of many games many games in one Ma- uh, master of none i don't remember the rest i'm too tired goodbye everyone <laughs> bye <laughs>